You see the coaches shaking hands here as we get ready to enter into game three. You know the drill as well at home and here at the arena at LOL Esports with either hashtag SKT win or hashtag EDG win. We'll be counting up those votes and sharing the results shortly. As Grandpappy Riv the first would always say, we are on almost finding himself in a three-pronged attack from the mid lane, but it looks like they're gonna get a rotation towards the top side here. Mako just on the backside of Daft. Gonna force him out of that. They're still gonna follow with the stun, the flash, oh, and entry. No Marin overheats at the beginning of the fight and adds some good damage to Deft, but they are gonna follow up with a bit of rocket damage here, winning that trade. I almost feel like Mako thought that Deft still had his chompers. That's the only reason you would flash for CC if mm. you thought you could chain it, but instead, he just burns his flash, and the rest of the SKT lane walks away and his ignite. Yeah. So that's a thought burn for not that big of a game. Maybe they try and dive him now. No ignite. Push him off the turret at least. Oh, Mako grabbed the aggro. Marin could go down here. Looks like Mako makes it out alive. Bengi is trying to do what he can to keep that aggro on to clear love and in range. And it is not going to be enough. One oh. last caster minion. He is low, but he is not dead until he gets a snowball to the face. Coming in from clear love. Pawn getting towards the top side. Gets himself out alive as he chugs a potion. That dive. He can use that wild growth effectively. Marin looks like he finally gets some free time in the top lane, but it won't be for long. He's trying to make up for that 30 CS behind. Bengi's here to help. Let's see how this goes. Equalizer down on Koro. Clear love says peekaboo. Comes out of the brush. An absolute zero charge up. And a knockdown. Where's the four? He's going to lock it up. Get Can he get four? the four? Come on, Here it up. comes. It'll do it. He's tanky enough. Gets popped up. There's the flash, and they may not have the chase. Arcane smash coming in from Koro. Snowball. There it is. Oh, he gets the four. Snowball to the back of the head of Bengi. Clear love on a rampage, but specifically because that was a great counter gank right there. Wolf Whoa! Way commits! Holy moly, Wolf flying in once again, trying to mark that territory. Def says, no way, Jose. And Easy Hoon's going pretty hard now. Bang, very low. Easy Hoon, however, takes the zap. Is it oh, no, no! Easy Hoon! He throws it himself! Gonna be enough, and Mako and Def Try to follow this one. They can't serpentine through the minions quick enough. Easy Hoon's safe. Everything's starting to fall apart right here from SKT. All three lanes suffering these yeah. game strategies. We figured that would be the easy fight that they would get. They'd have a very tanky Mar and be able to go into anything. And right now, they are being pushed into fights that they never want. <laughs> Super Mega Death Rock <laughs> comes in, but it's a 5-0-0 clear love now. Deft on the outside. What a flash to get out of that hook, but he's going to meet Marin as well on the backside. The rest of the team is coming in. Deft is going to live. Marin actually can't go back in the fight. Pawn grabs one towards the bottom side as well. Tell me he's going to kill Marin now. No, it's actually going to go over to Mako. And now Bang's getting chased down by Pawn. The blue buff's only giving him so much mana, and he cannot follow under the turret. Now that EDG has all of SKT down, they're going to get Dragon, yeah. and with this composition, the second they set foot near a turret, that's gonna fall too. Everything is just working for EDG. They had so many wards in the jungle of SKT because they've been so far ahead already that they could see Benki move around. They get a pick onto him first, and what often happens in these games where there's so much action and it's very one-sided, the team who's behind us had to use all these flashes before, so once a big team fight is there, well, obviously they don't, they don't have anything. While we saw Dev just flashing around, he's staying alive. <laughs> Cleared off. He's worth a my friend. full bounty. 500 gold to the killer. Run! But can they kill no. him? Ooh. Going over to Bang there. EDG again starting a fire very early in the game under the feet oh, of SKT. Nice, it's a nice little trap for Mar in here. I think they got Daft. It looks like they will have him. Do the retribution kills come through? However, Mako takes that aggro way too early, and this starts to backfire. Clear Love just coming back from going down. Looks like he will find the same fate just shortly after. We are going to have Pawn coming up. Actually, Koro coming down from the bottom side of this as well with the Righteous Glory on. Pawn is only steps away now. If they can get that Blood Boil back in this fight, it will be very helpful. And there's really nothing to stop him on the side of SK Telecom. Yeah. They need to basically have Pawn sitting on top of an Equalizer while they have him in a death sentence. Wolf continually in trouble. Thought he had enough safety at least with oh. Easy Hoon being there. Pawn getting in with the Flash. Emperor's Divide to throw Easy Hoon right back into the fray. Double kill for death. And it's not going to do a whole lot of damage with the Boomerang. Another Dragon for EDG coming up. SKT is around. There's a Flash coming in. Gonna have to take the fight if the fight is right on top of your head. They take down Bengi immediately. 
And that timer that SKT was looking for has pretty much run out for this composition to turn on. EDG on fire here as they grab Dragon number three. 15 kills into this game and a 7,000 gold lead. And EDG, aside from just having that great draft phase, in our opinion, because of the late game scaling, it's the way Clearlove played in the early game. There was that interesting moment when Coral tried the teleport for the blue buff at the start of the game, but if anything, that splits and makes sure Bengi can't snowball any of the lanes. Because if we look at these lanes individually with Rumble, Lulu, and Sivir, they're not doing anything without the assistance of Bengi. So when Clear Left shut him down, the rest of EDG could use their skill to take over. Oh, he flashed on the lantern, but he could not get it because everybody also huddled around the campfire. Bang goes down. This is where we got to see EDG start putting their foot down. SKT wants to do They're the same. so tanky. They may find themselves a fight they don't want. Marin overheats right in the middle of it. Ventral Maelstrom is just completely stopping hardly any damage from hitting Clear Love. Daft in a bad spot. Flashed into the pit by himself there. And he's almost staying alive. It is Marin that's going to be able to take him down. But SKT has lost three. Now four yeah. members in the quadra kill for Pawn. It would have been very hard for SKT to play these fights unless they get the correct pick on to one of EDG's carries. Thank you. Getting hit up by most of the team of EDG. It looks like Pawn's gonna be able to stick with him here. Shifting Sands, able to save. Oh, he goes down. A little bit of a burn there. And Pawn able to get some attacks in as well. Great chase, follow up, and kills coming from EDG. We saw it with SKT's composition coming in, and they knew it as well. They were on a timer, but it seemed like EDG just had that in their mind. They're going much. for Deft once again. He's a little bit out of position. Taking control of that advantage. Whoa, Deft goes down very, very early. Trying to reassess the fight. SKT knows that's all that, all that they can get here. We're going to have Bengi in just a few seconds. His teleport is up, but he has no way to get to the fight to help his team. Pawn now probably going to take down Wolf before he can even get onto the stairs of his base. And Clear Love is just 2v1ing, so the rest of the team can still come along with him. He's got the Iron Elixir already on, almost unkillable. And Pawn's able to pick up another one. Buff up the team, I think that's one of the things you have to target and remove. If you're even an eye shot of EDG, you're caught. The Talisman of Ascension along with the Righteous Glory is something they go for immediately. Like you're saying with that Maokai and Annie, once again, the Talisman of Ascension burned out there. Righteous Glory, if oh. they even need it to keep on the, the follow. And at Pawn, coming up with another kill as he flashes forward with his soldiers. And they're going to have to get off of that cooker. The red carpet's laid out, but EDG wants none of it. And they're just going to be able to start pushing here. They're fighting in between turrets. And SKT can't really give anything back to him. Easy Hoon gets knocked back by Emperor's Divide. That's going to be Koro picking up a kill. And EDG are now two turrets deep. Diving SKT in their base, 28 to 5, 30 minutes in. EDG doing whatever they want at this point. The D SKT forced to surrender. There was no way they were coming back there. You said SKT had that timer. They knew the composition they chose. We probably won't see that again, but EDG was ruthless about the process and method they took that, they yeah. took to that game. And just, there seems to be so many different